Iranian metal arsonist arrested, sentenced to 15 years in prison for playing satanic music. So, you know, I'm just going to say Iranian metal band arrested, sentenced to 15 years in prison for playing satanic music. You know, the reason why I'm going to get in trouble for not knowing the name is because I'm Iranian and I should know these people's names, but I don't listen to metal music. I'm sorry. Don't come at me. Um, so here's the summary. The government of Iran is continuing continuing its crusade against heavy metal music in the country, trying to censor and imprison bands for the crime of playing heavy metal. The latest band is notable Iranian death metal band Arsames. Ar okay. Earlier this month, members of the band was arrested. Official document of the arrest, which reads in part, the band was arrested and charged with 15 years in jail for being in satanic metal band and being against the Islamic government. The band members have paid bail and are currently safe and not being held in, in prison as they await the start of their trial. What do you guys think about this? I'm going to go look up the actual name before. You. Well, this is something that's happened quite you know, before in Iran in 2015, I think there was a band called Confess that this happened to. Um, there's been other uh, bands. I'm trying to remember some of the names of them, but this is a common thing. They raid parties, uh, music festivals. There's a film called What uh, Who's Afraid of Persian Cats or Everybody Knows Persian Cats that's about. Um, an Iranian music rock musicians who have been jailed and they just get out of jail and they continue to try and make music and go through this underground rock festival. And um, there's all kinds of uh, videos on YouTube about people filming underground heavy metal festivals. So it's not, even though it's against the law or you can be prosecuted for it or picked up, people are still doing it. Also, what's interesting is you can get special permission to play certain kinds of music in certain places, but apparently it's quite difficult to get. Like almost nobody gets it. So, I mean, I think it's completely wrong. It's, you know, it's free expression is free expression. If you want to play music, if you don't like it, who cares? Listen to something else. We got a super chat with no comment by Justin. Thank you so much, Justin. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, obviously. But this is this. Let me read the top comment. Uh, there, that's religion for you. That's the top comment. Jeff is saying the thing that have been done throughout time, in the name of religion, makes me so effing angry. As okay, well, that's, he keeps it going on under a, um, you know, justifiably, um, good rant, but it's too long. Oh, here it is. Rahul is saying, we don't know much about the issue here, but we know 100% that this has nothing to do with Islam. Oh, that's a, he's being sarcastic. Um, here's another thing. That's why religion should be banned. No, guys, what the hell? Religion shouldn't be banned. Religion should just be attacked. Banning religion helps grow religion. So, but he's saying that's why religion should be banned and all the priests, imams, and bishops arrested and jailed till they stop controlling people's lives. Holy hell, no. What the hell? This is like anti liberal kind of nonsense that we do not stand for here at Atheist Republic. Do not, we don't want, okay, we don't want an authoritarian uh, system to replace religious authoritarian theocracy. The problem with religion is. Oh, well, many things. But one of the problems with religion is that they get to spell, you know, spew their nonsense with and limit how much we could push back against it. All, we don't. We do not demand them stopping spewing their nonsense. They can spew their nonsense as much as they want. All we ask is for us to be able to have the opportunity to respond to their nonsense, especially in countries where the law prohibits you from doing so. That's all we ask. We don't want we do not want anybody to ban religion, ban the, we do not want anybody to ban the practice of religion. We do not want any imams, priests, um, or rabbis to go to jail unless they did a crime. I we do not support that, right? 
Uh, Wayne is saying effing Islamic doctrine is a dinosaur. All right, Shopam, you want to say something? Go on. Okay, so the first thing I want to say, uh, from what I found, uh, it's pronounced Arsamis because it's named after an ancient Persian king. So I just searched his name. And the second thing I want to say is banning things doesn't solve, I think, uh, because this is a perfect example. When you ban a certain thing, a practice or something, people will find a way. I mean, more people, I think, will be interested in uh, going for that certain thing. For example, in this case, uh, death metal is banned uh, there. Um, but they just still they continue to sing songs and do concerts and everything and if religion if you ban religion i think there will be people who secretly have like cults and stuff and there will be like we already know the horrible things in religion horrible practices and these people will continue these practices in secret which we won't get to know while religion is still like on the surface like it's not bad it's not secretive we can know about cases and we can speak up against those cases. But if it becomes something like really secretive, we cannot sp even speak up against those because they will happen in secret. So what do you think about this? No, I completely agree. The religion feeds I on agree too. Yeah, they feed on victimization. Um, okay, P2020 on Twitch is saying, I, sex I suspect it's that that usual Muslim opposition to worldly music or another one about trying to subvert the government thing. Yeah, no, I mean, they don't oppose music. This is metal music for them is satanic. So that they have a, it's, I wonder how like these people have balls being going, making music like this in Iran, right? Like that's pretty amazing. Like I hope to get some, you know, and if, if people think, well, there's idiots for actually making music like that in Iran, if they know that they're going to get in trouble, I don't agree with that. I think, like, you know, I think, like, if people know the risk and they decide to push back against what's accepted as norm, I mean, I'm not saying we should encourage people to do that if uh, we know there is a risk, but if somebody knows the risk and they still decide to do that, I think we should congratulate them and, and thank them, right? Um, just one more comment before I... Re uh, I wanted you. to say one more thing, is that right. part of it, it's not just that it's a they think it's satanic. Part of what metal is, what metal does, what a lot of the lyrics and the whole scene is rebellion against authority, uh, right. you know, freedom, uh, all kinds of, so at those kind of things, questioning authority, those kind of things, those themes are part of what any authoritarian government, in particular religious authoritarian government, doesn't want people to engage in because right. that's what metal is. So right. I just had to say that. So the Mad Gatheus, who's a member, a YouTube member, he, uh, he or she's saying the atheist republic, uh, oh, Iran is so terrible. A lot of the people have had enough there. They seem to be on the verge of revolution. They have been on the verge of revolution for the past 40 years. But yeah, I agree. And we also got a new member. You get this. Hans Rhodes is a new member. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a join button right next to our subscribe button so you can become a member. Thank you, Hans, for supporting us. Michael Sherlock is saying, the history of the Abrahamic religion uh, teaches us that banning religions turns them into powerful countercultures, which in turn uh, propels them into mainstream culture, which in turn empowers it to take over societies. Yeah, I mean, look at what happened with uh, the pushback against Ataturk in Turkey and also how Reza Shah came down anti-secular, like forcing, forcing non-religion on people in Iran uh, look what that turned out to look like, right? Like we have, like, there's countless of examples, right? But even if it wasn't, here's the thing, even, even if that was not going to be the reaction, it's still a crappy thing to do to have like authoritarianism uh, to that level, right? Like even if the consequences are not, yeah, anyways. Um, anything else you guys want to add before I go um, be, to the next story? News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not 
telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 